Duval County school leaders are pressing for answers and moving forward with an investigation of teacher misconduct at Douglas Anderson School of the Arts. It comes after a fourth teacher was removed from classroom duties yesterday and a state officials accused district leadership of failing to report dozens of misconduct claims in a timely manner. News 4 Jacks spoke with Superintendent Dr. Diana Green to ask her about her plans amid the investigation. Today I'm still the superintendent and I'm going to continue doing the things that as superintendent I would normally do. We have a team of reporters covering this story. We start with News 4 Jacks reporter Joe McLean who is live from the district's headquarters tonight. Joe, another meeting now set for Friday. It is, and that uh, meeting is really to allow board members uh, to have any of their concerns uh, uh, addressed regarding uh, why multiple misconduct claims at Douglas Anderson School of the Arts uh, were not submitted to the State Office of Professional Practices. Now, today's meeting allowed board members to ask questions of the Office of General Counsel. Those are the lawyers that represent both the city of Jacksonville and the school district. The plan brought by board member Lori Hershey was to hire a third-party firm, an outside law firm to look closely at the situation at Douglas Anderson and to scrutinize the district's practices for reporting teacher misconduct to the state. Uh, DCPS board chairwoman Dr. Kelly Coker released a statement uh, after the meeting today saying, quote, today our board took the appropriate and necessary action to begin the process of determining the system failures that allowed Jeffrey Clayton to remain in the classroom for years after multiple district-led investigations involving inappropriate conduct by Mr. Clayton. In the action to hire outside counsel to investigate this item, our board also asked that outside counsel review the processes leading to the Florida Department of Education's Office of Professional Practices to recently receive 50 backlogged teacher investigative cases, some of which dated back to 2020. To be thorough, she goes on to say, this investigation will take time. However, it is necessary to ensure the safety and security of our students moving forward. Now, I mentioned, uh, she mentioned the State Office of uh, Professional Standards. Well, today we learned that the district reassigned Reginald Johnson. He is the district's supervisor of professional standards. Uh, that department reports basically incidents uh, to the state um, among uh, many other duties. Uh, but the State Office of Professional uh, Practices uh, sent a letter through the, the Commissioner of Education to du Duval County Public Schools uh, just yesterday, a scathing letter, letter accusing Dr. Green, uh, telling her that uh, Duval Schools failed to report those 50 cases over the past three years until just recently. So uh, that happening the day before the district removed, reassigns its director of professional practices. Now, again, this uh, next meeting is going to be on Friday. And the only thing on the agenda, and I want to read uh, what the agenda says, it says, board member concerns resulting from recent events at Douglas Anderson School of the Arts and mandatory reporting requirements. So a lot going to happen on, at that meeting on Friday, which is set to begin at 2 p.m. Reporting live, I'm Joe McLean, Channel 4, the local station. Thank you, Joe. And ahead at 530, we're looking into the reporting process for teachers and staff under investigation for misconduct. Then at 6, a closer look at the legal steps the school district is taking.